my reading is that Rishi Sunak felt that he needed an experienced heavyweight uh, with authority to take on the Foreign Office brief at a time of uh, crisis in two parts of the world. Sunak himself, I imagine, is going to spend more time on the domestic agenda in the next year. And in David Cameron, he has someone who comes in with a ready-made network. Many of the world leaders he dealt with as prime minister are still in place. Uh, he's got experience in handling crises. He's competent. He's calm. Uh, and I think for those reasons, he's a good choice at this moment. Xi Jinping was only just arriving when I was with Cameron in the early part of his government. And the full force of his um, aggressive competition with the West was not clear. So circumstances have changed. I'm sure David Cameron will adapt to that. Um, as I say, he has the experience, uh, but he will inherit the government's policy on China. I don't think at all he'll have a problem with that. I think that rate of churn does matter uh, because uh, foreign affairs is a people uh, business. Uh, human contacts are very important, building confidence among the people you're dealing with. If you change foreign secretary that often, I think it is a real setback. I think James Cleverly actually did a very good job in repairing relations with the European foreign ministers. David Cameron, of course, comes in with a certain uh, authority uh, from his experience as prime minister. Uh, he knows the international circuit well. So it's not as if some complete newcomer to foreign affairs has been parachuted into the seat. He will have to make links with a number of personalities who are new since his time. But I think he's very good at that. It's one of his skills um, to uh, make contact, make uh, warm relations with the individuals he's dealing with. So I think, uh, I, at least I hope, that this now puts an end to the churn uh, up until the next election. We've got an experienced figure uh, who can help guide Britain through very turbulent waters in the year or so to come.